Kiwi Mark Hunt is 43, the American Lewis is 32. Lewis is much taller at six foot three, and the Black Beast will outreach the Super Samoan by a huge seven inches. With the main event introductions, here's Joe Martinez. And now, ladies and gentlemen, live around the world from Spark Arena here in Auckland, New Zealand. It is time for the main event of the evening. Five rounds scheduled this in the UFC heavyweight division. Sanctioned by the New Zealand Mixed Martial Arts Federation, the three judges scoring at octagon side. Howie Boo, Barry Foley, and Charlie Cage. And when the action begins inside the octagon, your referee in charge, Mark Goddard. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the judges are ready, the fighters are ready, the world is ready. New Zealand, make some noise if you are ready! Introducing you first, fighting out of the blue corner. Here's a striker standing 5 feet 10 inches tall. Weighing it officially 265 pounds, this veteran has a record of 12 victories, 11 defeats, one draw and one no contest. Fighting out of Sydney, Australia, by way of South Auckland, New Zealand, here is the number seven rated heavyweight contender in the world, the Super Samoan, Mark Hunt! And next to the corner across the octagon, fighting out of the red corner. It's a brawler standing six feet, three inches tall. He too weighed officially 265 pounds and has a professional record of 18 victories. Four defeats, one no contest. Fighting out of Houston, Texas by way of New Orleans, Louisiana, USA. The number six rated heavyweight contender of the world, the Black Bays, Derek. Okay, gentlemen, you understand the rules you're fighting under. Listen to me at all times, you keep yourself protected. When I say stop, you stop. Touch gloves, let's do this. Here it is, fight fans. A big heavyweight encounter. The legend, Mark Hunt. And Derek Lewis. We are scheduled for a maximum five five-minute rounds of action. This, for the spoils, this is the big one. Top of the bill showdown. Hunt in the blue, Lewis in the black shorts. We're about to find out what the strategies are of these two competitors. All camp long, Derek Lewis working, moving his feet, fighting long, using the reach advantage. Do not let this man inside. If he gets inside, his coaches want him utilize that tight clinch wrap his arms around the head of mark hunt pull him down really keep his elbows tight they feel like mark hunt can get hit hard with knees inside that tight clinch but also bill perez told me that if this goes down to the canvas and Derek lewis is on top it's over he has such heavy hands in that position he'll shut out any of the heavyweight roster there's a long line of unconscious he unconscious heavyweights that went that route with Derek Lewis. You don't want to be underneath him. Reminder, up next here on FS1 is the post-fight show. Stay tuned for that. Mark Hunt being very patient. Ooh, there's a big leg kick there from Lewis. Yeah, throughout Mark Hunt's career, he's never really addressed those. He'll counter them, but just doesn't care. I mean, the size of those thighs. You guys can't see it under those shorts. It's insane. I go back to his kickboxing days. He never cared when people kicked him in the leg. Well, it... Ooh! Mark Hunt starts to open up. Head kick there from Lewis. Double head kick. So incredible to see such a big man <laughs> get those legs up and Mark Hunt, as easily as he did. Mark Hunt flashes his eyebrows at him in respect. But, I mean, look how quick Mark Hunt is for that build. Man, he yeah. shuffles his way inside so quick. So Derek Lewis putting his win streak on the line, the longest active UFC heavyweight win streak right now. Six of them. 
Mark Hunt here with a point to prove that he's still there. One of the more senior members of the roster. But he has the ability to compete at the highest level. Mark Hunt definitely does have some very good footwork for such a big guy. Notice Derek Lewis, hands low, especially when he gets his back to the fence. Very dangerous. And look how he's circling now to his left. And that is not where you want to be when you get a guy with as heavy a right hand as Mark Hunt. Let's see if Mark Hunt spots it. Tries to bait him into it. Look up there from Lewis. He seems quite composed. Mark Hunt bleeding from his left shin. We've seen this in previous fights for him yeah, against Overeem. Yeah. Oh, big overhand right from Mark Hunt. A failed takedown attempt for Derek Lewis. 72% takedown defense for Mark Hunt. There's that uppercut. Well, you don't want your back stuck against the fence against this man. Ooh. That's one way to get out of there. Man, huge right hand for Derek Lewis. Looks like there's a cut on the forehead, forehead of Mark Hunt. Jumping Lewis into position. You know, one of these things about these bursts of energy for Derek Lewis, I mean, he changes up his time. You think you get his time, you think you got his rhythm, and then out of nowhere, he explodes on you. Makes it difficult to defend. Neither fighter believes that this is going to go to the scorecards. Excellent feints here by Mark Hunt. He's being very smart about closing the distance. Swarmed, however, by Lewis. Man, every punch these guys are throwing this is ridiculous. I'm only taking half breaths right now, Brian. Switching left hooks there by the Super Samoan. Good defense over Derek Lewis. He circled away from the cage, kept those hands high, and that's what he needs. Snap those jabs, use your front kicks, keep Mark Hunt away from you. Remember that seven-inch reach advantage for Derek Lewis. One leg kick for Mark Hunt. When Derek Lewis fought Roy Nelson, he landed just two and forced Derek Lewis to switch his stance, have to fight from lefty. That's not something Derek Lewis is proficient in. But Mark Hunt is very proficient at landing those heavy leg kicks. See how Lewis explodes and gets back. To just walking slowly, getting his air back. He's had some good experience in five-round fights recently, which really helps him in this matchup. Last few seconds in this opening round. We're going to be back for round number two. Right from Auckland. There you go. Mark, don't know what drift, man. The body is right there. He's leaning back. Drop one of the body. I want you to drop one of the body or open up the top. Okay? Yeah. Keep the body. Take your time, but watch your range, okay? Yeah, yeah. great job, bro. Got him in the back foot, but let's go. We talked about how Mark Hunt doesn't really address leg kicks, but here you go, he does here, checks the kick, but it comes at a cost. That's why his shin with all that blood dripping down it. You block the kick, man, but you pay a price to your shins as well. Perfectly placed for his ink as well. He's right in the mouth <laughs> of that tattoo. So round number two, scheduled for five. Again, Lewis going up top with these kicks. Super quick. There's a guy who weighs probably 285, 290 in there right now. Snapping that lead leg up. We actually saw him box jump into the octagon from the floor. So looking and feeling athletic this week is Derek Lewis. Both of these guys are outstanding athletes. I was just going to say the same. 
might see. Marco respects the power. He's very patient. He's oh. distance. Even those glancing shots six, 12, can turn six, 12, the fight. Six, I agree with how you put that, but I don't know if there's any glancing six, shots at these guys. Whatever <laughs> they hit you with can knock you out. Yeah, like a truck for the, sure. The forearm of Derek Lewis is like getting hit with a side of beef, man. Oh, switch knee there from Lewis. He's trying to bait him in. That's what happened in the Fabricio Verdun interim title fight. Mark Hunt was dominating that fight. He looked exceptional. Out of nowhere, Verdun changed up the time and put a flying knee and knocked him out. Derek Lewis reading that, trying to do the same. One thing we probably haven't spoken enough of is just the level of competition that Mark Hunt has faced throughout his entire career. There have been no gimmicks from when he stepped into a ring or an octagon. And he is chopping down that lead leg. You're exactly right, John. I mean, this is one of the best, if not the best, combat sports heavyweight in history. One kickboxing championships at the highest level. Fought all the best in MMA. All around the world. Never shied away. And now he has the surging prospects of the division, Derek Lewis. Call him, calling six him out. Oh. Got it on him. Oh, I there. there we are. Over there, please. Over there. Take your time. Take your time, Mark. Look at me. You tell me you can see, and we're good. Look at me, Mark. Can you see okay? Can you see okay? Stay right there. Doctor, stay right there. Take time. Good work there from Mark Goddard. You can see Mark Hunt almost wanted to brush it off and keep going, but he's not seeing well. Right there, bam. Fingers right in the eye. Derek Lewis acknowledged it. Now, remember, hands, uh, the new rules are in place. That's, that could be a foul, probably something he's just going to warn him about, but we'll see what the decision Mark Goddard makes. You are right? Okay. We're happy, no injury. We're happy, no significant injury. Thank you. Okay, still where you are, Mark. Okay, there are no spares. This is accidental. Just make sure when you back out, just keep the hands closed. Okay, thank you. Excellent All right, guys, call back by Mark Goddard. Ready? I agree Time. with it. No impact on the fight long term. No reason to, to take a point away. Excellent command of that Octagon by Mark Goddard. As always from the veteran Mark Goddard. There we go. Staying round number two. 240 on the clock. Sneaky feints, lands the right, but that beautiful counter at the same time from Derek Lewis. Hunt looking to measure these strikes. Lewis searching for that counter. Well, he's just not being reckless. One thing though, Mark Hunt's corner called for more body shots. He wanted to dig to the body. Remember the damage Travis Brown did to Derek Lewis with those body kicks early. Lewis would come back and finish him. Oh, switch kick there from Lewis. The ballerina. Love that. That is just so impressive. The one thing that I am slightly concerned about is just how much energy it takes when you are as, as big a man as what Derek Lewis is to get that out and back. When you look at him, watch how he changes tempo. It's either really slow or explosive, and he's not breathing too heavy. And now you can tell he can feel that fence on his back and wants to get out of there. Let's listen in to Derek Lewis's team, see what they have to say. That one may have hurt Lewis. Lewis looks hurt. Yeah, the crowd sensing this as well. Mark Hunt comes in. Look out for that uppercut. Nice head movement there from Hunt on the on the outside. Lewis has got to get back to the center of the octagon. Missed opportunity there. Stayed against the fence. Double left hook from Hunt. He's trying to keep Lewis in range with that big right hand. <laughs> the most success Lewis is having, uppercuts in those jumping knees. Because of the stature of Mark Hunt, he keeps that head tilted forward. Oh, massive right hand hook shot this time. These guys are ducking in and out of punches, throwing huge shots behind them. That punch sends both athletes out of the octagon into the stands. 
Some of these shots measuring on the Richter scale. And Derek Lewis keeping his back defense, hands low. At 10 seconds, Lewis starting to get a little tired here. Head kick from Lewis. Oh! Saved by the barrel potentially, just as Mark Hunt was rallying. All right, I'm going to keep moving. You're still backing up a little too much, uh, and you're waiting for him to go. Let's take another look. Here's where Mark Hunt hurt him initially. Boom! Beautiful counter elbow right on the money. He noticed he was hurt. He went after him, but he was patient in it because you just can't rush it. Look for the hooks there. And getting hurt like that can take away from your cardio as well. And Derek Lewis really looked like he slowed down. Throws a nice knee, but the left hook catches him. You can see Derek was a little stiff-legged, acknowledging that he was hurt. to get him on his back. Get in, get out. You last time, get out. Get back out on the, on the bike. Don't stand still, bro. That's what you got. I need you active. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Round number three in this electric encounter between these titans of the heavyweight division. I tell you, Derek Lewis is not breathing that heavy on the stool. Recovered quickly. The big man is in excellent shape for this fight, as is Mark Hunt. Yeah, yeah, credit to their conditioning. I'm feeling nervous, Brian. There's so much power being exchanged in this battle. I'm amazed that both men have withstood the shots so far. But Lewis, his corners have told him, you've got to get your back off that fence. But he just seems to get stuck there. Another eye poke. Mark Hunt did a great job against Alistair Overham. And in fact, he threw a similar elbow in round number two. Made one error in the third. As Derek Lewis comes forward with some bowling shots. Just misses on that second uppercut. That's what Derek Lewis will do. These tempo changes. And this is what he needs to do. Now his back is with the fence. He can't retreat there. As soon as he walks back, I know he's trying to bait him in, but it's not working. Oof. Huge swings there by Lewis. His corner bellowing to him. Mark, keep your hands up. Nice left hook. You know, Mark Hunt early, first two rounds, was doing a lot of fainting. He's patient here in the pocket. He's marching forward a little bit too much without setting it up now. He's gone away from the face. Let's see if he goes back to doing it. Because that freezes Lewis. It doesn't allow him to get up these type of shots. Oh, yeah. Lewis is getting married next week in Hawaii. He wanted to be out of here early so he could look pretty for the photos. Been taking some heavy shots tonight off of Mark Hunt, though. He certainly delivered a few as well. Absolutely. That's a good point, actually, Brian. This is a very difficult contest to score. Or maybe I'm just so invested in each shot. It's, you know, as a commentator, very hard to judge because you're, you're analyzing, you're waiting for the knockout blow to come. But you got to think the pressure of Mark Hunt, when you typically see a fighter skirting the fence, a lot of times the judges favor that. Derek Lewis getting frustrated. He's just missing on some of these shots. He's not finding them. Hearing a lot from the Mark Hunt's corner. Let's see what they're saying. Yeah. If you're on the body, if you're dropping the body. Body! Low two! Low two! Low one. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Over two decades of storied career, very decorated, still disciplined listening to his corners. Attacking that lead leg. I mean, Derek Lewis fighting straight up and down. His legs almost locked out. Lewis still employing that kicking game. Just trying to keep a little bit of distance. Oh, man. 
he wants to make sure when Hunt does close the distance that he's ready for it and he can time those uppercuts, those big strikes. He's backing up and baiting Mark Hunt in. Sometimes a risky strategy, but he's landed better here in round three than he did in round two. Take down attempt there from Lewis. He's sucking that air in deep now. Good defense, blocked that overhand right, hands on the hips now, not a good sign. Not a good sign at all, and look how Mark Hunt closes that distance. I'll tell you, I mean, Lewis still has the kind of power that will drop you in a second though. And Mark Hunt knows it, and that's why he's being smart. Now he finally digs to the body. Yeah, just when it couldn't get much Again. worse. Gonna take a big shot to the gut. One thing about digging the body, though, you're punching low, you typically will expose your chin. Keep an eye on that. That was a better job of really getting low and digging the body shot instead of just arm punching it. Lewis backtracking now around the perimeter of the octagon. Look how high his chin is. Yeah. The super Samoan stalking, foraging for openings. Boy, a lot of people at home may be wondering, why isn't Mark Hunt just jumping all over him? Look, Mark Hunt, he's been knocked out before, right? He's been winning fights and out of nowhere gets KO'd. He's going to be smart here. He needs this win. He's got a guy starting to get worn down. He's going to take advantage of that. Smart, I think, by Mark Hunt. Last few seconds of this round. And a big right for the by kick from Mark Hunt. Really interested to hear the corner of Garrett Lewis here. All right, breathe for me. Breathe for me. Okay, so we're going into round four. You're still backing up and you're still letting him get off first, okay? You're waiting to look for your openings. You, you have to create those openings, Garrett. They told me not to. Don't force that trade down. We need you to set it up. We need to put him on the fence. Let's get him on the fence. But I need forward movement from you. You're landing the jab all the time, buddy. Let's take another look. You know, probably the most, the most definitive round for Mark Hunt. But early on, beautiful knee, followed by some uppercuts. Continues with the left, or the leg kicks, excuse me, here. Big left hook. And then he started digging to the body when he realized Derek Lewis was fading. The most definitive round so far. Wednesday, don't miss UFC tonight as Kenny Florian and guest host welterweight champion Tyrone Woodley recap this weekend's UFC Fight Night plus the unveiling of the newest fighter rankings. UFC tonight is Wednesday at 8 Eastern, only on FS1 and streaming live on Fox Sports Go. Respect before round number four, championship rounds. This one for the bragging rights, however. Derek Lewis will be looking to extend his win streak, put himself in title contention. Mark Hunt wants to get back on that winning trail. Things are looking good for Hunt at the moment. I've never seen Lewis look so fatigued, or so openly fatigued. He exploded a lot in the earlier rounds. Also, when you get rocked, when you get hurt, it takes a lot out of you. Also, the takedown attempts. Shot a couple of takedown attempts. Those are the most energy costing part, most fatiguing part of mixed martial arts, or offensive takedowns. 43-year-old Mark Hunt. It's incredible even saying that to see what he's still accomplishing in this sport. Uh, in his five-round fight against Shamil Abdurahimov, he faded there a little bit as well. He found the energy to get the finish that he needed, but it was a very slow-paced fight that went into the later rounds. And Derek Lewis is very good at coming from behind to win as well, Brian. He seems to find something. He's got such a big heart. And he's never out of this. In any one of these strikes, he catch Mark Hunt and finish it. I think this is a smart strategy to employ. Stay diversified. Don't just headhunt for Mark Hunt. Chop that leg. Go back to the oh! body. He's hurt again. Double jab right hand from Mark Hunt. This Lewis is a smiles. close fight. Lewis smiles and shakes it off. In Mark Hunt's words, he likes to knock the lips off of people. Well, Lewis is just waiting. He's going to at least faint, do something, get in the high five. <laughs> get yourself back to the center of the octagon. Big moment this for Mark Hunt. 15 years since oh. he's performed in front of his 
New Zealand fans. Excellent combination there from Derek Lewis. Opened up there. See if he continues to do so. We haven't seen many combinations. Just one big kick or one big strike and done. Is Lewis trying to loosen up here a little bit, Brian? No, he's trying to catch his breath. <laughs> we were in round four. We ain't loose yet. Well, sometimes you just you just get a mental block in there. As soon as you get caught in the moment and, and you're not as aware of things as you'd like to be, he feels that fence there, but he's a little tired. He just he can't deal with the pressure in the lower center of gravity. And Mark Hunt is just walking him down. Mark Hunt's making this octagon look even smaller with look, those two big men inside. Look how tired and straight-legged Derek Lewis is. Those feet, his legs are heavy. Not stepping correctly, not able to get all the power into his shots without his legs underneath him and his balance. Crossing his feet often. This is good ringmanship as well from Mark Hunt as well, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, you know, two decades in an octagon in a ring, and this guy doesn't do now he's digging for the body. I like that Derek Lewis every once in a while is exploding. It at least gives him an opportunity to catch Mark Hunt. Catch his breath, catch his breath, walks around. Oh! Massive right hand there by Mark Hunt. Lewis is hurt. And you can see how stiff his lead leg is. He's having a hard time putting weight on it. Attempted a knee there from Lewis. Ooh. Another one. One minute 20, <laughs> round number four. <laughs> you take a breather here for a second at that big flying knee. Not a good oh. idea against Mark Hunt. He's going to unload. Mark Hunt's taking up. That's it. The Super Samoan wins in front of his home crowd. This man defies nature. So many times we think this man is done. We think it's time for him to end his run. And he comes out here and reminds us just how special he is. Important to note, no protest from Derek Lewis for that stoppage. And we're going to fight is sponsored by Metro PCS, covering 99% of people in the US with a network that's more reliable than ever. Let's start out first combination from Mark Hunt. Big right hand there. You can see Derek Lewis hurt. He's exhausted. Every time he could explode, just cost him energy. And here's the end, man. He's just exhausted. And Mark Hunt continues to bring it, hurting him to the body, hurting him to the head, just nonstop. And here, hands on the hips after he exploded. And you can see Mark Hunt smells it. Derek Lewis, just nothing left. And you know, people may protest this, but I'll tell you what, smart decision. He's just trying to evade the fight at this point. Gas tank done. Excellent work from Mark Goddard. Our move to the fight is sponsored by Metro PCS, covering 99% of people in the US with a network that's more reliable than ever. Time for a quick break. We'll make it all official when we return. Welcome back to Auckland. Time now to give Mark Hunt his moments. Let's send it inside the octagon to Joe Martinez. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes officially. Three minutes, 51 seconds. Round number four. Referee Mark Goddard puts a halt to this contest for your winner by TKO victory from South Auckland, New Zealand, the Super Samoan, Mark 